Hello and welcome, you are gaming with me, Brothgar, and today I'm going to be covering how to actually limit your upload or download speed. If you're like me and you have a small or limited internet speed, you tend to actually run into a lot of lag problems if you're either downloading a new update or a new game, and it really throws a big wrench in your gaming experience if you're trying to actually download something or upload something and you want to play with games or friends at the exact same time. So what I have here on the right side of the screen is NetLimiter 3 Pro. It is actually a program that costs either $20 or $30, but you do get the first 30 days for free and it will allow you to upload or download limit and a whole lot of other stuff if you go to the pro version. The you know, the legit, like, limiting version is actually only 20 bucks. Now, there is actually a free program out there right now. I haven't actually installed it yet because right now I am actually uploading this video of the first two hours of EOS beta, which they've been nice enough to allow me to upload without any copyright issues. It is now Net Balancer, so I'll have that down in the description below. It's claiming to be free right now, and it's in beta, so I'm not sure how long it's going to be free, but I'm going to have both these programs in the description below. But how it basically works is I come on over here to, let's see, your Google Chrome, and I can actually find, I can actually use the pull down here and figure out which process it's actually uploading to or maybe it's a port or an IP or etc etc and then I can actually limit that as opposed to limiting my whole Google Chrome so it's actually very very flexible in that but right now I have it limited to hundred kilobytes per second which for me that's actually a pretty good number because 125 is my maximum upload which leaves me a good margin of error for everything else that I'm actually using in the game and you can actually see how much the game is using right now it's under one kilobyte per second down and as far as the upload speed I mean it's pretty practically nothing so EOS does not use much internet at all and this really goes for a lot of online games they claim to really some people think you need really really fast internet to do well in online gaming but the fact is you don't you really just need a good ping so a landline connection pretty much works as long as you limit everything down. So what I did over here is I created a rule, which is really simple. If I were to turn this rule off, which is 100 kilobytes per second, I found that through a downloading you know, a speed tester. I'll have that in the link below as well. You click that, you get your numbers, and then it happens. But see, now I jumped up to 125. I am now maxing out the game. So if I go into the game here, things will actually show up kind of laggy. Like I just went to cast there, nothing happened. The combat itself is actually going to be showing up as quite laggy. Now, why am I testing this with EOS? Well, one, because it's in beta and I wanted to show it and showcase that I'm uploading a video about it. That's going to take like 24 hours to actually upload. But the reality is, is if I were to do this in an FPS or something like that, I would actually be kicked out of the game because my ping would end up too high and they would just like kick me for having a high ping, etc, etc. But there's a lot of stuff kind of going on as far as the responsiveness. I just tried to do a dodge. And it's not really working. And if I go to put my weapon away, I just pressed it. And now it actually goes press. And then it actually comes out. So that's actually a pretty good test right there. If I were to limit my internet now. And now I come back to the game. So now the internet is actually well, throttled back. And now I put away my weapon. I pull out my weapon. It's much more responsive. It's actually in real time now. And all that is just basically making sure that I'm not using my full internet. Because when you use up your entire internet, what happens is everything kind of adds into a queue and then has to be processed. You know, it has to figure out what's the highest priority and all that kind of crazy stuff. So when it comes to games that needs like your response now and get there as fast as possible, you're gonna wanna make sure that maximum is actually below the 100% of your internet speed. So if you're willing to give up a little bit of time as far as uploading or downloading a game name, as long as you can actually continue playing with your friends, I, that's to me very, very valuable. That's why I'm using NetLimiter 3 Pro, and maybe I'll try out Net Balancer here in the future. So, for those of you that have found this video because you basically this is probably the scenario you're in you're in the same scenario those are two programs that i know of so if you found another program that actually works really quite well make sure to put it in the descriptions below maybe comment it and um links tend to actually kind of get like thrown into like i, I don't know the people think it's spam if you put a link down there so maybe just name the program or get kind of fancy with how you're actually linking it but it would be great to find out some other programs that are actually legitimately free forever maybe and aren't actually like you know hack spam crapware you know what i mean so thanks for watching guys i hope you found this video informative this is what i'm doing to kind of allow myself to upload videos at the same time while i'm gaming and i will see you guys in the next episode make sure to watch out for the new eos 
video coming out if you are interested in Elder Scrolls Online. I'll be giving you the first two hours of my gaming experience with it. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Brathgar, out. Yes, you want the fireball in your face, do you not? Ha ha ha! Ah, that's it. I can't. I... Impressive fighting. Yeah. Thank you. Peace.